Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your monthly reading for the first half of May. This is from May the 1st to the 16th, 2023. So Sagittarius, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest the first half of May. It can manifest later on down the line in time after May. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then it might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So I did get messages for you, Sagittarius, on a pre-shuffle. And the messages that I got was something's going on with almonds or nuts, or somebody could be nuts, somebody could be crazy. Angels, Jesus, um, water, a Honda, a Acura. And don't Google it or you, you're you not going to be able to Google something. Saturday could also be significant. It could be this Saturday. I'm doing y'all reading Friday. Today is May 12th. So Saturday could be tomorrow or it could be um, a different Saturday in um, the first half of May or the month of May. Something significant about a Saturday. I also heard, um, Sagittarius, what happened on May 1st? Then I heard, Sagittarius, are you taking notes? Or you should take notes or write down what happened on May 1st. Because May 16th is coming up. And Sagittarius, you got to compare the two. What happened on May 1st versus what happened on May 16th? So it's some type of comparison. I don't know what you're doing or what you're in the process of doing. I'm I'm picking up you're writing something down or you should write something down. So I heard to give an example as like a dream. So it's like Sagittarius, say like you, you're you writing down a, a dream journal and you recorded what you dreamt about on May 1st. It's like spirit is telling me to tell you also record what you dream about on May 16th and then compare the two to maybe figure something out or something. So something like that, May 1st versus May 16th. Something like that going on with May 1st and May 16th. All right. So for your display card, I'm going to pull your Oracle, your overall energy from this deck. And I'm going to pull a positive um, attribute or a, a positive trait you're going to display or you should display the first half of May. And we got joy here and then jealousy. So these are positive traits you should or you will be displaying the first half of May. All right. So let me get into your Oracle first. What Sagittarius Oracle overall energy first half of May? All right. So we have message in the bottle. You break that down, that's a six. I also saw the number six in my mind's eye as well. I saw the number six. So Sagittarius, the number six could be significant for you. That could be a life path number. It could be an angel number. Um, Something to do with numerology. The number six could be significant or the number 15 could be significant. All right. So let me read it. Let me put your positive trait first. What positive trait Sagittarius will or should display the first half of May? All right, we have growth. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Gemini or you can have Gemini in your birth chart. This came out for Gemini. Let's say, I embrace the lessons of life. Every day is an opportunity to improve. So Sagittarius, you will or you should embrace the lessons of life. Every day is an opportunity to improve. So some type of growth. So something could be going on with a karmic cycle. Sagittarius, I'm also hearing... Sagittarius, somebody could be stalking you or something. And you could be recording... Every time this person stalk you or every time this person call your phone or something. You're, it's like you should or you're writing something down. And it could be something pertaining to stalking or harassment or something. So let me read message in the bottle. 
Number 15. All right. So it says the essential meanings. Communication. A sign. A cl cladon. The ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. Pointing the way to your highest good. So a cladon is the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a prophet. Somebody might say something to you prophetic. Or you might have a prophetic dream. Or an ancestor or an angel or something might show up in your dream. Or you're dealing with like a prophet or something. Somebody might deliver a message innocently by the speaker. It's like somebody talking and it's like it resonates with you or it's a message from spirit. But spirit is using a person to deliver a message to you. And it's like this person is innocently speaking or saying something to you. Then we have the oracle's message. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe you will receive them. And when, let me turn the page. Or I'm also hearing this could be a child. So I just hear a child might say something to you. Like it's a scripture that say the truth comes out of the mouth of babes or something like that. A spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. So for some of y'all, a child is going to say something very prophetic to you. Or whatever this child say is going to have meaning to you. That's why I heard a child. And when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. And for some of y'all, this is a child. A child going to say something to y'all. Expect confirmation that you're pointed, you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone, for someone might just... For someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your inquiry. Today or the first half of May, your message is this. Spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. So um, Sagittarius, whatever you seek, whatever questions you have, the reply is going to be in your favor. Some type of reply or some type of answer is in your favor. Or um, I'm also hearing this could be an unplanned pregnancy or an unwanted pregnancy. This pregnancy is um, in your favor. So Sagittarius, you could be praying for something or you could just be complaining. I'm bored. I'm always bored. I'm this. I'm that. Nobody loves me. Sagittarius, for some of y'all, y'all going to get pregnant. And that's your answer or something like that. So some of y'all are supposed to get pregnant or something like that as well. So Sagittarius, if you was contemplating like an abortion or something, don't. Because I'm hearing you birthing, you conceiving is speaking. Like being able to conceive is, is it's like something, it speaks for itself. Like you being able to conceive, be a mother, that speaks for itself. Something is innocently speaking to you. And it could be conception as well. It speaks for itself. To be to be pregnant or to conceive, th that speaks for itself. So um, some of you guys could could be contemplating an, an abortion, and I'm hearing don't. All right, what's going on with Sagittarius? Ooh. All right, so we have don't worry about it. Let's see what came out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, somebody might experience an unplanned or, or unwanted pregnancy. Don't worry about it. Um, Sagittarius, whether you a male or a female, then we got greed. Sagittarius, if you a man and you get a female pregnant, don't, um, you shouldn't. I'm not going to say don't. You should not tell this woman to get an abortion. You shouldn't. Because it speaks for itself, whether it was unplanned or unwanted. And then we have heaven bound. So somebody is heaven bound or something is heaven bound. So this could be a goal somebody had. Something's going to work out perfectly. Something, somebody or something is heaven bound. Then we have an Audi. So Sagittarius, you could be looking for a car. 
And maybe the Audi is the perfect car for you. Like this Audi is perfect. It could be eco-friendly. It could be uh, friendly on your finances. This car, this Audi could be very affordable. Or it's going to be a blessing to you or something. So, Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a car or looking for a car, a car salesman or something might uh, disrespect you. But don't worry about that. So Sagittarius, say like you you buy a car, you bought a car in a pack, you bought an Audi in the past, or you might purchase an Audi the first half of May, and the car lot, the car salesman charged you ten thousand, but you might find out that the Audi is actually worth like five thousand. It's like Sagittarius, don't worry about it. Something about this Audi is heaven bound, and don't worry about it. Even though somebody was being greedy and could have overcharged you for this Audi, don't worry about it. Don't worry about somebody's greed. Because something is still going to be heaven bound for you, so don't even worry about it. So, I'm going to give this for an example. Sagittarius, say like somebody overcharged you for an Audi. And you pissed off, you might find out. You're going to say, you charged me 10000 and I found out the car only worth 5000 But it's like Sagittarius, I'm giving this for example. It's like, Sagittarius, you might meet your twin the first half of May. And your twin going to say, it's funny because the first thing that attracted me to you was the Audi, your car. So it's like, Sagittarius, something something bad is going to work out in your favor. Or somebody disrespecting you going to work out in your favor. So don't worry about it. Because it's like this Audi is like going to attract something to you that's in your favor even though somebody could have overcharged you for it or something like that going on so the good and the bad is working out in your favor or something like that so don't worry about the greed somebody could have disrespected you or overcharged you for something something is still having bound is going to work out in your favor and it could be something surrounding a vehicle or audi Or it's like Sagittarius, I don't know. Somebody might steal your car. And Sagittarius, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. For some of y'all, somebody might steal your car if you have an Audi. This person could be greedy. They're greed. This person might try to steal your car and sell your car or take it for car parts. Um, if that's the case, it's like Sagittarius, I'm hearing if somebody steal your car, you might get your car back. Or I heard initially, Sagittarius, this car might blow up or something. It's like Sagittarius, it's a good thing that this person stole your car. It could have been a, a mechanical malfunction going on. On the inside, the interior, or with the machinery. So it's like somebody stealing your car out of greed is actually saving your life. So this car might blow up with, with this thief in it. Or it's, it's like the thief going to steal it from you, but it's like going to blow up like the same day or the next day or something like that. It could have it could have been a, a mechanical malfunction that you wasn't aware of. That the most high was or something like that. So somebody being greed, Sagittarius, don't worry about it. Something is having bound anyway. Yeah. Or you're going to be all right regardless. What's the spill with don't worry about it? I'm also hearing Sagittarius, don't worry about prices. Sagittarius, you could be wrecking your brain trying to find a deal. Or Sagittarius, you could be trying to overcharge somebody. And I'm hearing Sagittarius, you got, you don't got time to waste. You need to hurry up and sell, sell this car and stop trying to make a profit. I just heard time is of the essence. So Sagittarius, you could be doing something from a place of greed trying to sell your car. And Sagittarius, don't worry about it because something is heaven bound anyway. So Sagittarius, say like you was trying to sell your car for like 10000 but it's really worth... 5,000. 
And Sagittarius, you was trying to sell your car for ten thousand because you needed the ten thousand for a bill or something. It's like Sagittarius, time is of the essence. Say like these people said, Sagittarius, I want my money by May eighteenth. And Sagittarius, you trying to at the same time you trying to meet a deadline. You're also trying to like get up the exact money you need, or you're trying to make a profit. But Sagittarius, I'm here and meet this deadline. Timing is of the essence. Don't worry about getting the exact amount that the car is worth. Don't worry about that. Because something is still heaven bound. Um, it's like Sagittarius, say like you're trying to sell your car because you got to uh, put money down for a lawyer. It's like Sagittarius, when you get to this lawyer's office, it's like this lawyer might say, I'm going to give you 50% off. So it's like Sagittarius, you're going to realize you was wasting your time, busting your brain. Trying to sell your car for ten thousand because the, initially the, the lawyer probably told you that they're gonna charge you nine thousand or something. But it's like Sagittarius, you gonna get here and this lawyer gonna say, after I thought about it, I give you like 40 50 percent off or something. Somebody could be retiring this lawyer, so they might give you a discount or something. So don't worry about something because something happened about anyway. Something gonna like just fall into place. Yeah. What's the spill with? Don't worry about it. What's the spill? Don't worry about it. Sagittarius, I'm also hearing, I just heard too, if this could be something as simple as you inside of a store. You went inside of a store and Sagittarius, the cashier could have like, Sagittarius, say like you give the cashier a hundred dollar bill and they were supposed to give you like $45 back, but they gave you $35 back. It's like Sagittarius, don't sit there and argue with these people about your $10 because somebody could be outside trying to steal your car or something. I'm hearing timing is of the essence and don't worry about if somebody trying to be greedy or something. Sagittarius, you might say, no, go get the manager. I got time. Y'all going to give me my $10. It's like Sagittarius, it's like you in this store arguing over $10 and somebody outside trying to steal your car or something like that. Especially if you got a nice car. Sagittarius, if you got a nice car, don't be, don't be in these stores arguing about petty change, $10, $20 difference, and be like, oh, call your manager. Uh-uh. It's like somebody outside trying to steal your car. Because it's heaven bound. It's like this car is like, you can have a very luxurious car. It's like Sagittarius, uh-uh, get in and get out. It's like you arguing over $20 and somebody outside trying to steal uh, 50000 from you or something like that. So don't worry about something. I keep hearing timing is of the essence. You got to get in and get out or something like that. Or sell this car and get it out the way. Don't wait or something. What's this bill with? Don't worry about it. A divorce, yeah. Broken relationship, lost connection, separate ties. Okay. So, Sagittarius, you could be a man. And you could be trying to win your lover's affection back by buying a car. But, Sagittarius, for some of y'all, um... Even if you purchase this car, it's not going to matter. Your lover might break up with you anyway. So you could buy your own self a car because you want to attract your lover back. You feel as though that's going to impress your lover. Or, or um, I was going to say Aquarius. Or Sagittarius, you, you're trying to purchase your lover a car. Because you it's like your lover could be leaving you. And you know if you get them a car, they're going to stay. So you could be trying to avoid a divorce or a breakup or severed ties. You, you could be trying to avoid this uh, broken relationship, lost connection, or severed ties. Yeah, so something like that could be going on. So Sagittarius, for some of y'all, it's not going to matter if you purchase this Audi or not, or if you purchase this lover or Audi because they still might leave you anyway. Or... Another scenario I heard was 
you purchasing this Audi is actually going to save you from this uh, divorce. So it's like Sagittarius, you could be trying to be greedy and you like, no, I don't want an Audi. I want a BMW or I want a Lexus. It's like Sagittarius, get the Audi. Your lover will be fine with the Audi. And y'all going to reconcile with the Audi. Yeah, like the Audi is sufficient. Your lover going to love it. So just get the Audi. Because timing is of the essence or something like that. Um, or another scenario is um, Sagittarius, somebody played you with a car. And Sagittarius, you want to confront this person, but you like, if I confront so-and-so, me and, me and so-and-so not going to be business partners no more, or so-and-so not going to want to deal with me no more. Sagittarius, for some of y'all, confront this person anyway, because you confronting them is having bound. Something is going to be some type of success for you. So don't worry about this person saying, oh, Sagittarius, what you trying to say about my business skills? Are you saying I deceived you? I played you? Sagittarius, don't worry about this. Because for some of y'all, maybe y'all should confront this person for overcharging you on this car. Or something. And for some of y'all, y'all should just let it go. Yeah. Well, Sagittarius, if you're going through a divorce and your lover is fighting with you over uh, this Audi... Whatever the end result is over the Audi, it was meant to be. So, Sagittarius, the judge might say you can keep the Audi, or the judge going to say, Sagittarius, you got to get an Audi to your spouse. Whatever the end result is, don't worry about it, Sagittarius, because something is still having bound. Or something like that. What's the still with greed? Yeah, high vibes. Or Sagittarius, you want to know why somebody being greedy? High vibrational person, energy that feels good, light, and easy. So Sagittarius, either somebody played you with a smile on their face in the past, somebody snaked you, or Sagittarius, don't worry about why somebody doing something. Don't worry about it. Somebody could be being greedy or something that appears to be greedy. But this person is high vibrational, so they're doing something for a reason. So, Sagittarius, you might have to trust somebody or, like, mind your business about something. It's either one or the other. You either going to have to trust this person or mind your business about something. Because the high vibrational person could be doing something that appears to be greed or something like that. What's this feel with heaven bound? generous oh god Sagittarius I heard you could be a female another scenario oh boy Sagittarius another scenario is you're a female and you're dealing with like your ex-husband or your soon to be ex or whatever this is Sagittarius, let this man have this car for the sake of his testosterone, his manhood, um, his masculinity. Sagittarius, I heard just let go and you're going to get it back. So it's like Sagittarius, say like you're going through a divorce and you know your husband loved this car. And Sagittarius, don't break this man's heart because you, you can it's like Sagittarius, it's like, I heard that if y'all going through a divorce or you fighting over a car with a man and you a female, don't fight with this man about this car, Sagittarius, because it's like, even after the, 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 the divorce is over, it's like Sagittarius, your ex going to give you a whole bunch of money because he let you, cause you let him have a car. <laughs> it's like Sagittarius, say like this Audi is worth 40000 it's like Sagittarius, your ex going to give you like 60000 Because you let them keep their Audi or something like that. Something is like in your favor, your benefit. Or something like that. 
It's like, let somebody be greedy. It's like, this could be a man thing. It's like, leave this man car alone. Because it's like, even after divorce, it's like, he got you. Or it's like, this man might win the lottery and give you some money. So, leave that man hard alone. It's, leave this man already alone. Yeah, I heard that. For, his, for the sake of his masculinity. <laughs> I heard, don't hit him where it hurt. <laughs> don't hit him where it hurt. Cause it's like this man like might hit the lottery or something after y'all divorce, and it's like you still gonna get some money. It's like it's, uh, it's like it's like Sagittarius say like um you divorced this man and you took the car, and this man hit the lottery. He ain't gonna give you none of that money. But it's like I'm hearing the the amount that you get this generous energy is gonna be more than the Audi. So let this person have the Audi or something like that. So let me take it down a notch. I'm just throwing numbers out there. But to be more but to be more practical, say like this Audi is worth maybe 15,000. And it's like a queer it's like uh Sagittarius, your ex after y'all divorced, they won the lottery. It's like a um Sagittarius, your ex going to give you more than the the value of this Audi in cash. Because you didn't touch their car. Or you was nice to them through this divorce or something. Or something like that. What's this spell with Audi? Yeah, jealous. Yeah, this could be over a car. Yeah. I'm hearing, a, I'm hearing Sagittarius, let this person have something. Let them have something. Because you're going to get a blessing if you, like, don't um over, don't do overkill, whatever this is. Sagittarius, it could be in your power to take or something from somebody, but I'm kind of hearing don't. Because it's like Sagittarius, say, like, um if you going through a divorce, and, the, and, the, and you tell the judge, I want the Audi. And the judge will rule in your favor and take the Audi from you. It's like Sagittarius. It's like, depending on what you do with this car, it's like your lover going to try to take the kids from you. Like something like that. And that's going to be a whole war zone by itself. It's like your lover wasn't fighting for custody. But if he realized you're trying to take the Audi from him, he's going to try to take custody of the kids or something. And it's going to prolong the divorce or something like that. So, it's like your husband or your soon-to-be ex, he's saying, if Sagittarius touch my Audi, I'm going to touch them kids. <laughs> and I'm going <a> to <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I don't mean like physical touch. I mean, like, uh, hurt somebody's feelings. Not molest. I'm not, I'm not talking about molestation. I mean, well, be careful with people. <laughs> but, um... No, that was not my initial intentions on saying touch. I meant like hurt somebody's feelings. So it's like Sagittarius, your soon to be ex is like, he's saying if Sagittarius go for my Audi, I'm going to bring Sagittarius right back to court and I'm going to put Sagittarius through hell and I'm going to take the kids from Sagittarius or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it's like this person, like it can go either way. Sagittarius want me to go in reverse or Sagittarius want me to go in the upright. Sagittarius better leave my car alone or something like that. And it's like your ex going to do it just because you got the Audi. Your ex don't really want full custody of the kids. But it's like if you request the car, they're going to take you to court for the kids. Yeah. So something like that going on. So something that be having bound for you, Sagittarius, if you be generous and like, even if the judge say Sagittarius, okay, you can have the car. It's like Sagittarius, don't, don't take that car or something like that. And I keep saying Aquarius. So Sagittarius, your uh, soon to be ex could be an Aquarius or Sagittarius, you got Aquarius in your birth chart or you dealing with an Aquarius.
What's the scoop with divorce? Christmas. Something significant about this holiday. So Sagittarius, you could be going through a divorce. <sighs> I don't know. Sagittarius, I don't know. Your ex could be very controlling or something. I don't know what this is. But I don't know. Um, it's like Sagittarius, you could be going through a divorce. And on Christmas... Your ex could be, um, could have gave you a car as a gift. Or you could have filed for a divorce or you demanded, demanded to break up around Christmas. Sagittarius, if you got kids by your ex, be careful because it's, Sagittarius, if you do something that's unnecessary, your um your ex might do something that's unnecessary. And it's like Sagittarius, you might end up with the short end of the stick, so just be careful. Cause somebody doing something for a reason. Or somebody a snake, so be careful. Either way, you have to be very intuitive to deal with this situation. Somebody, Sagittarius, you dealing with, you're in some type of debacle or court case with, this person is either a snake or they doing something for a reason. And Sagittarius, it might not be really none of your business. So just be careful how you handle something. What's the spill with um, high vibes? Whew, like purpose, yeah. Mm. Finding your life purpose. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't want to say it, but since this is coming out, I'm going to say it. All right. Sagittarius, you could be going through a breakup or a divorce. And Sagittarius, um, your soon-to-be ex knows something about you, like your shadow side. They know something, something about you. And it's like, Sagittarius, this person is trying to teach you a lesson, but it's for your betterment. It's like this person being greedy is for a high vibrational reason. And it's a part of your life purpose or something. Or Sagittarius, maybe you have a flaw. And maybe you let people use you. And spirit could be testing you. So somebody using you the first half of May. Or you finding out somebody played you. Spirit want to see what you're going to do. So spirit is, could be testing you. This high vibes could be the universe or your ancestor. They're testing you to see if you learn a lesson. Sagittarius, maybe in the in the past, that was one that was a flaw of yours. You let people use you. Or maybe you was a greedy person. And spirit, somebody testing you. It's either your soon-to-be ex or the universe. <coughs> Something is a test. Yeah. So either you used to let people finesse you all the time or you was a greedy person. So if you be generous, something going to be heaven bound. So Sagittarius, maybe that was one of your flaws. You was very greedy. You a greedy person. Or something like that. And if you be generous or allow this person to be generous to you, something's going to be successful. Or, or it's like Sagittarius, somebody might learn a lesson. And it's like Sagittarius, allow this person to pay off their karmic debt by being generous to you. So Sagittarius, you might have to forgive someone 
Maybe in the past you used to say, I don't want your money. You owe no good. I wouldn't even take your money. I wouldn't take a penny from you. It's like Sagittarius, this greedy person who offended you in the past, they're learning a karmic lesson and they changed. And it's like Sagittarius, it's like, don't be mean to this person. Allow them to be generous to you. So Sagittarius, somebody that used to steal from you in the past want to actually pay you back something or something like that. But it's like, allow this person to be generous to you or something like that. I heard allow somebody to pay down their karmic debt to you that they owe you. Allow this to happen. And it's still a part of your life purpose to be like merciful or to be intuitive about why somebody's doing something or something like that. Or to forgive. What's the school with generous? Yeah, stuck in the past. Yeah. So, Sagittarius, you could be stuck in the past. So, allow this person to be generous to you. Because maybe this person changed. Sagittarius, maybe in the past, this person used to give you money and then steal money from you. So, you learn. I'm not giving you nothing. Because every time I give you something, you steal it from me. You steal it back. But it's like, Sagittarius, this person could have changed. So, Sagittarius, you could be stuck in the past. And this person changed. So you could allow them to be generous to you. Or Sagittarius, um, spirit want to see if you still stuck in the past. Are you still a greedy person? Are you going to be generous to this person? Or are you still stuck in the past? Or something like that. And then we got toxic family. The family dynamic may be toxic. Okay. So spirit wants somebody to break a karmic cycle in a family setting. So this family could be your siblings. Family, blood family. This could be somebody you got kids by. Or somebody you was married to. So this is some type of breaking of karmic cycles. Breaking generational curses. But it, there's a need for like intuition as well. Or something like that. Yeah. It could be an old way of thinking. An old way of an old mentality. That needs to be broken. Or something like that. What's the scoop with jealous sideways? Whew. I don't know. Sagittarius, for some of y'all, y'all don't have kids. And one of the reasons why you didn't have children because you're greedy. You you it's like you love money, you like your independence, which is understandable. But um Sagittarius, I heard spirits say that's enough. You gotta give back uh to society, to the universe, you gotta pay down karmic debt. And for some of y'all, that's to be a parent, a mother or a father. So, Sagittarius, I heard in the past, you used, you used to gloat about your singlehood or, and not having kids. You you used to gloat. You was high vibrational, but you were greedy. So, you you loved money. You went to work. It was all about you. I'm single. I'm the... Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So for some of y'all, this is um so I just hear this, for some of y'all, um, you're married. And so I just hear this, maybe your spouse wants kids and you don't. And your spouse could have gave you an ultimatum. We either have kids or I'm divorcing you. I want children. Or Sagittarius, it's like if you get somebody pregnant or you get pregnant, it's like it's gonna save your marriage. Or Sagittarius, maybe you and your family. Like your blood family, y'all don't have kids because y'all make money. Y'all all about money, so y'all don't have kids. And maybe you're you're the one who's supposed to break a karmic cycle and get pregnant. Uh, I'm finna say uh, Sarah. Um, so Sagittarius, somebody's name could be Sarah, or your name is Sarah. Um, Sagittarius, maybe this is you and your siblings. 
And it's like none of y'all got kids. Maybe your parents want children. It's time to like break a karmic cycle. Stop being selfish. Think about other people. I heard spirits say that's enough. So Sagittarius, you could be at a decent age to have children. Like you lived your life. Um, Yeah, that's enough. Somebody need to have kids or something. Maybe y'all parents want kids. It could be your mother. It could be your father. Somebody, I heard somebody wants a grandchild. And y'all, you and your siblings, y'all won't have kids because y'all be making money. All right. What's the school with jealous sideways? Well, somebody might maybe need to stop having kids or something. I heard that too. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions. Yeah, you made me jump to conclusions without all the information. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sagittarius, something is not your business or spirit is testing you. And I heard that's your business. So, it's, it could be two groups of y'all. For some of y'all, somebody doing something, it appears that this person is being greedy. But it's like, Sagittarius, something not your business or something. And for other y'all, um, spirit is testing you. So don't don't jump to conclusions. Yeah, don't jump to conclusions. Cause Sagittarius, something is up to you. Yeah, something is up to you. Yeah. Or well, something is like cause and effect. Something could also be cause and effect. And it's like Sagittarius, if you pull back, this person going to pull back. But if you talk about this person's car, it's like they're going to try to take the kids from you or something. Or somebody going to take your lover from you or something. I don't know. So Sagittarius, say like you're dealing with a third party situation in love and you find out about the third party and you tear up their car or something, something with an Audi. It's like Sagittarius, your lover probably wasn't even messing with this person, but it's like, since you messed up this person's car, this person like, okay, I'm going to upright and now I'm really going to um, mess around with Sagittarius lover now or something. It's like somebody wasn't really jealous. It's like this person could have like had a crush on your lover, but it's like they wasn't messing around with your lover. But it's like if you do something with a car or Audi, this person going to say, okay, Sagittarius. And it's like Sagittarius, you're not going to have control over the situation. So don't jump to conclusions about something. For some of y'all, Sagittarius, if your lover is telling you that they're not messing around with somebody, they're really not. But if you do something with this car, if you tear up your lover's car or repo your lover's car or tear up this person that got a crush on your lover's car, it's like Sagittarius, what you thought was going on wasn't going on. But if you offend somebody concerning a car, your worst fear is actually going to happen and you're not going to have control over this. So, somebody could have a crush on your lover, but it's like, they're not messing around with your lover. But, Sagittarius, if you do something, or Sagittarius, if, um, you could be accusing your lover of cheating on you. And maybe your lover's car is in your name. And if you repo your lover's car, it's like, your lover is actually going to call this person and mess around with them or something like that. Because they was trying to tell you that they wasn't messing around with this person. Or something like that. I don't know. Sagittarius, for some of y'all, your lover could be trying to make you jealous. Or something like that. But they're not messing around with this person. Somebody could just be trying to make you jealous. So Sagittarius, don't do overkill the first half of May. Don't be dogmatic. Just because you have the power to do something, that don't mean you should do it. Because something going to happen, Sagittarius, it's going to be out of your control. You're not going to have a choice. Because you was jumping to conclusions and you could have offended somebody unnecessarily or something. Or something like that. 
So jump, don't jump to conclusions about an Audi or something like that. I also heard for some of y'all Sagittarius, if your car gets stolen or something, don't assume that you know who took your car. Because it's not the person who you think took your car. Don't assume that you know. Yeah. All right. What's going on with Sagittarius the first half of May? The Knight of Swords, yeah. So this is the Aquarius energy that I could that I picked up on. So Sagittarius, you could have Aquarius in your birth chart, or you dealing with an Aquarius, or somebody might um, call the cops or something. Or Sagittarius, don't put your hands on somebody. You might put your hands on someone or falsely accuse someone, because the Knight of Swords assumes, and the Knight of Swords will either put their hands on somebody or falsely accuse someone, or somebody might call the cops or something. Page of Cups. Yeah. Somebody could be being emotionally immature. Yeah. Or somebody could be pregnant or something. And somebody didn't know. The six of cups. Mm. Something could be going on with a past pregnancy or crush. <coughs> yeah, Sagittarius, just be careful, especially if you have Aquarius in your in your birth chart. Because you might uh, uh, accuse the wrong person of doing something. It's like, you know that somebody got a crush on somebody because of the past. But that don't mean that it's going on in the present or something. So it's like, you're going to turn into the Knight of Swords because of those seven cups. So I don't know if somebody was cheating on you in the past, had a baby on you in the past. Or you're aware somebody had a crush on your lover in the past or something like that. Yeah, the five of swords. Yeah. So, Sagittarius, you or somebody else stuck in the past? Something happened in the past. Somebody had a crush on somebody, and the past could be, like, in April. The past could be the far past, like, a year ago, six months ago. Or the past could be, like, in the present, we in May. The past could be, like, in April. Like, uh, it could be a month ago, two days ago, or whatever. But in the past... Somebody was aware somebody had a crush on somebody or somebody cheating and somebody is assuming they know who their lover is cheating with. Somebody was trying to win at all costs in the past. Or it's like a Sagittarius in the present, you're assuming who the third party is without having all the information. It's like you're just assuming. So you're assuming somebody is doing something because of a third party or you're assuming you know who the third party is. And Sagittarius, be careful because you could be wrong. Yeah, somebody was trying to win at all costs in the past. Well, Sagittarius, you did, did, did you did this in the past. And you might be tempted. Spirit could be testing you to see if you would do this again in the present. So something could be going on with like somebody hallucinating or somebody was cheating. Or somebody wanted their cake and eat it too in the past. Maybe in the past, somebody caught someone restrictions. Okay. So, Sagittarius, say like in the past. You found out your lover was cheating on you, so you kept the kids from them. Okay. That's when you could have been younger. It's like Sagittarius in the present. You might find out this could be the same lover or a different lover. Sagittarius, you might find out or you're going to assume your lover is cheating on you. And you're going to keep... The kids from your lover. 
and Sagittarius in the present, that's on un, that's unwarranted. Because maybe your lover is not even cheating on you. It's like you're causing somebody an injustice. You're causing restrictions, but in the present, you're not going to be justified by something. It's like you got away with it in the past, but if you do it again in the present, it's not going to be justifiable or something like that. And it could be keeping your kids from their father or keeping your kids from their mother or something. Or repoing somebody's car because you're assuming or something like that. I don't know what this is. Whatever you did in the past is not warranted. I mean, if you do it again, it's not going to be warranted. Or it's like, Sagittarius, somebody already know what they did to you in the past. They're not going to get away with it in the present. So, Sagittarius, you could be thinking what this person did to you in the past. They're trying to do it to you in the present. And it's like, Sagittarius, what you don't know is that this person already know that it's not going to work. So they didn't do it. Whatever you're accusing them of. They did not do this. It's like Sagittarius. This person is more aware than you are. <laughs> yeah. This person like. I, I didn't steal your car. Because I know. I know you got a camera on your car now. So why would I be the one to steal your car? I didn't do it this time. <laughs> it's like somebody knows something. So it's like. Why, it's like, why would they do this? Or something. Yeah, the lovers. Ten of Cups. So, Sagittarius, somebody knows something and you don't know how they know or you don't know that they know or something. They know or something. Yeah, somebody could be an Aquarius. So, Sagittarius, you could definitely have Sagittarius in your... Sagittarius, you could definitely have Aquarius in your chart or you don't know what an Aquarius. Your twin could be an Aquarius. So somebody caused restrictions in the past. Somebody caused somebody else restrictions. So somebody did this to you, Sagittarius, or you did this to somebody. Whew. Sagittarius, your twin could be an Aquarius. Or your family member is an Aquarius. So some type of drama could have happened in the past. <clears throat> Somebody made a wise decision to forgive, to heal. Okay. Will of Fortune. Okay. So Sagittarius, this your karma right here. It's your karma. So in the past, you or this other person made a wise decision to get married. Or if this is family, y'all reconcile. Y'all made amends. It was healing. I'm going to let it go. Forgiving and learning. We're going to let it go. And then we got the will of fortune. So let's see. So here we go. Divine timing. Something could be com coming full circle. Something coming full circle. So whatever type of work y'all put in in the past to like do y'all shadow work, the will of fortune right here. So whoever ain't do their shadow work, gonna get karma. And whoever did their shadow work, gonna get karma. But it's good karma versus bad karma. And then we got the two of cups. So, for like I said, the other group of you guys, this is the universe or your ancestors testing you. You're being tested. To see if you, um, if you're ready for your life purpose or to see something, some type of test. And then we got the Eight of Swords. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Somebody going to fail this test. Yeah. So be careful. Yeah. Somebody might go to end up in jail. Or Sagittarius, this is you or this is like an Aquarius. Somebody don't know how somebody knows something. Or Aquarius, Sagittarius, do you be underestimating somebody? Something. Somebody be doing, and they don't know something. <laughs> Somebody don't know how to get themselves out of something, or 
somebody trying to figure out, well, how do so-and-so know or something, something like that going on. <clears throat> Sagittarius, you probably be underestimating somebody. Or somebody be underestimating you. Somebody gonna end up eight swords. Yeah. And this is not good karma. This is not good karma. So something going on with a soulmate connection. This soulmate connection could be in career. It could be a lover. Sagittarius, this could be your twin. This could be a family member. It could be a your child. A soulmate connection could be with anybody. So somebody's gonna end up eight swords. Somebody didn't learn something. What's the school with the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Swords? Kicked out. Someone may get kicked out of the house. So Sagittarius, you could have kicked somebody out <clears throat> in the past, or you got kicked out in the past. Or somebody lied to keep from getting kicked out in the past. Or Sagittarius, you could have kicked your lover out or something in the past or something like that. What's the school with the lovers, the ten of cups, and the star? Yeah, the grass was fake. Oh, man. Yeah. So somebody either apologized and did the right thing, made amends about being fake, or this is fake. Somebody making a wise decision to get married, or we family, you know, we blood, you know, we don't need to be fighting, cutting up. Something was fake. Somebody apology was fake, or um, what did I say? Or y'all apologize for being fake. Yeah. What's the um scoop for the Will of Fortune and the Two of Cups? Um, Sagittarius, for some of y'all, your twin is an Aquarius. Your twin is an Aquarius. And um I don't know. Sagittarius, for some of y'all, your twin could be a master astrologist or a master something. Or that's what y'all need to do. Y'all probably, I don't know. Somebody probably got to Google something. Like a female Sagittarius with an Aquarius woman. Like how that's going to work out. What's the compatib com compatibility with a Sagittarius female and, and an Aquarius man? Or a Sagittarius man with an Aquarius woman. What's the com compatibility? Because somebody didn't learn a lesson about something. Or something. What's the school with the Will of Fortune and the Two of Cups? Yeah, the direction that you were moving was the wrong way. So Sagittarius, you or somebody else might get rebuked. Or something. <clears throat> or Sagittarius, you might master something. And this other person going to end up eight swords and not you. Let's see. What's the school with the eight of swords? Yeah, purify. Purify your energy and aura. I don't know. This could have something to do with tarot. Somebody could be an astrologist or Sagittarius. Some you're an astrologist or somebody else's, or it's like you either gonna do something or you not. You either in it or you not, or something like that going on. Cause something is going on with somebody's like purpose. 
So Sagittarius, the universe or your ancestors is saying that to you. Or the universe or somebody's ancestors is saying this to this person that's be, be being fake towards you. Because it's like somebody might get a little bit of exposure as well. So Sagittarius, you might purify yourself from this person that used to put you in this karmic cycle. Or it's like Sagittarius, you need to purify yourself. Because it could be somebody that's putting you in eight swords. And maybe you need to get rid of this person. Or something like that. Or you're going to finally uh, not allow this person to put you in this karmic cycle. And they're going to be in this karmic cycle like by themselves. While you purify yourself or something like that. Ooh. So let me see. I think it's both scenarios. For some of you guys, Sagittarius, you're going to pass like this test. And for other you guys, y'all not. And y'all going to end up eight swords. Because you should purify yourself of this karmic energy or this karmic or something like that. Or Sagittarius, uh, you could be married. And it's like you could have married your karmic instead of marrying your twin. Your twin could be in a your twin could be an Aquarius. So I don't know. Maybe somebody was, was supposed to bend divorce or break up with their karmic lover. Or something like that. Only. But Sagittarius, you or somebody else was going the wrong way. Yeah. And somebody going to get karma or the will of fortune for going the wrong way. Or somebody could have might get karma for trying to force you, Sagittarius, to go the wrong way. Because Sagittarius, maybe you did grow. <clears throat> and Sagittarius, this person think they're going to come back around this time and offend you again. This person might get caught off guard. So somebody think, for some of y'all, this person think they're going to come back around. Not knowing you grow, you have some type of growth here. And this person might try to offend you and it's not going to work. Or something. All right, so this is Blood Queen Zero. <clears throat> or I also heard Sagittarius, for some of y'all, this person is not going to have to offend you. Because you're going to learn something like in the nick of time. So Sagittarius, say like you used to always take and take and take and take and take. It's like Sagittarius, this person is like, if Sagittarius take my car, I'm going to take Sagittarius' kids. And it's like Sagittarius, because you learned your karmic lesson, you're not going to take this person's car. So this person like, okay, then Sagittarius can keep her kids or something like that. And this could be your ex or something. Or something. It's like this person not going to have to do something to you. Or something. <clears throat> Or well, Sagittarius, you was harassing somebody. It could have been your lover's, um, this person that got a crush on your lover. And Sagittarius, this third party, the first half of May, this person is like, if Sagittarius say one more thing to me, I'm sleeping with Sagittarius' lover, and Sagittarius ain't going to do nothing about it. Or Sagittarius, you're not going to have control over this. And Sagittarius, maybe you might catch yourself or you have grown and you're not going to bother your uh, this person that got a crush on your lover. You're not going to bother this person or something. <clears throat> or something like that going on. Or something. Yeah, somebody, somebody probably got a crush on your lover or something. But it's like Sagittarius, this person is high vibrational. It's like, even if this person like your lover, this person got enough self-control, they're not going to bother your, your lover. They're not sleeping with your lover. But Sagittarius, if you keep on offending this person, or I don't know if you be messing with this person's car or something. Sagittarius, this person. <laughs> um, Another thing I'm picking up is Sagittarius. For some of y'all, y'all could be a karmic, and this person you're dealing with is a divine feminine or divine masculine. This person high vibrational. 
And Sagittarius, maybe you the karmic and you dealing with two twins. And it's like Sagittarius, what you don't know is somebody's twin could be with you. Sagittarius, you could be married to somebody's twin. And it's like Sagittarius, this person is very aware that all they got to do is say the word. And your lover will leave you and go back to their twin. So I'm picking that up too. It's like Sagittarius, this person know. So Sagittarius, I don't know if you be messing with this person's car. I don't know if you be harassing this person or something like that. But this person is like, if Sagittarius offend my car or say anything to me, I'm going to tell my twin, let's go. And Sagittarius, your, your lover, which is somebody else's twin, is like they're going to leave you. Or something like that. So Sagittarius, that could have been what you didn't know. Like somebody is somebody's twin or something like that. So, I, I just also heard choose your battles wisely. So, um, this is Love Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Sagittarius, enjoy the month of May and thanks.